This is a presentation of Season A1, Chapter 8, about IP version 6 addresses, and it's part number 3. When we are looking at the IP version 4 addresses, uh, we know that there is a limit of how many addresses that we have all together. We have at, uh, only about 4 billion IP addresses overall in the world, and we have already used all of them. So that has been a problem for quite a long time now. There has been a lot of changes to IPv4 and the implementation of IPv4, which has made us able to efficiently use the one that we have. But at some point, we need to change to IPv6 to get more IP addresses. And um, the IP addresses in uh, IPv6 is no longer 32-bit like they are in IPv4, but they are 128-bit long, which makes the number of IP addresses almost unthinkable. It's 340 undecillion. I don't even know that number, but it's a lot. And um, yeah, we will have a look at how the IP addresses are uh, look like and how the first thing here is how they, they will coexist with IP version 4. There are different ways of doing that. One way is what we call the dual stack is where you have both of them implemented at the same time so that you can have both an IP version 6 and an IP version uh, 4 address on your different devices. That is called dual stack. You can also uh, set up tunneling so that you can have different networks which only uses IPv6 but they need to communicate with other networks that are using IPv4 to be able to communicate with each other and in that way we can set up a tunneling between the two different IPv6 addresses. So tunneling is number two. Uh, way of having them coexist. The last one is to translate so that we will actually put in a NAT64 router which translates between IP version 4 and IP version 6 addresses. So that is also a possibility. But let's have a look at the IP version 6 addresses. They are, as I said, 120 bit long. Um, when we see them, we see them in hexadecimal numbers. Uh, because otherwise 128 binaries will be different, very, very difficult for us to, to, to just look at and also remember. But also, if we just converted them into decimal number, it will be too large a number. Even in hexadecimal, where we have 32 hexadecimal digits, it's still a very, very long number. Uh, we use uh, a number or a definition called an hextet, which is used to a segment of 16 bits or four hexadecimal numbers. It can be written either in uppercase or lowercase letters for the hexadecimal numbers. So if we take an hextet, we will see that that is four hexadecimal digits, which equal 16 binary digits. When we see an, an IPv6 address, we try to make it smaller and make it not so that we don't have to look at all the uh, 32 hexadecimal uh, digits. So, the first one we can do is omitting all the leading zeros. We can do that with any numbers. If there is a zero in front of it, we, we can just delete the zero. So here, one, uh, 01AB can be represented by 1AB and so on. So in the address down here, we can just leave out all the different zeros, which of course makes it uh, easier to comprehend. We can also omit all zero segments. If we have a long string of zeros in our IP address, we can um, just put in uh, or replace it by a double colon. That means that between the double colons, we have only binary zeros. So here, uh, it is called a compressed format, where we just put it as small as we can and putting in the double colon. We cannot put in a double colon twice in an address. It can only be used once. So this address here, down here, where we have two is not a correct address. 
But an example here is that here we have a lot of zeros here. We have first we can start by omitting all the, uh, the zeros. And then we can look at how many zeros do we have after each other. And we can add a double colon. We can, for instance, add it over here, but only here. Then we need to keep these. Or we can do it the other way around, where we kept it in the first part. So only one double colon can be ad added. Down here also we can add it um, over here after uh, the first part where we have a lot of zeros so just a double colon here. It means that it will be just when we when the computer will, will look at it it will just add uh, zeros so that it will all together be 128 bit long. The prefix length is the same thing as the networking address in, in IP version 4. So here we tells us um, the prefix of the network and then the host address is the last 64 bit. Normally we have the prefix length to be 64 bit. When we look at, uh, yeah, I think I'll stop here. We'll do it in the next uh, session. Thank you. No, no, thank you.